Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out and where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so I have a passion for looking after hair and styling great hair. Now, of course, to have great hairstyle means that you have to have the right care and the right know-how and the right products behind all of that. It doesn't necessarily have to be complicated. And there is a brand which most people will probably be aware of, which is Olaplex for, of course, blonde hair, but not necessarily for blonde hair. If you've had highlighted hair, or if you've had bleached hair, what have you, or if you have done anything actually with your hair, whether it be overstyled, whether it be too much heat, whether it be that it just feels so drab and lifeless, this little thing here can help. And this is the Olaplex number no. seven bonding oil. Now this is 30 mils, so it's a small size, okay? But this here, um, you can purchase this for around 26 pounds. Okay, so it is the premium sort of end product, but Olaplex sits right up there in hair care. I have tried the shampoo, the conditioner, and the perfector, I believe. Um, I think that's what it's called. We're not gonna be reviewing that today. That's gonna be coming shortly. Today, we are looking at the bonding oil. Now this stuff, has an incredible, incredible smell and has the power to really transform your hair. Did it work for me? So I done some research on the Olaplex system and why I actually started to use the system was back in December, I had my hair highlighted. They can probably just tell from here, you can't really see that I've got really strong highlights in this. I've got longish hair. But you can just see the back of my hair here is a little bit more metallic, sort of like a blonde um, more like a, a cool metallic type blonde, but I do have hair now just probably just touching my shoulders, okay, and I have had a lot of blonde highlights put throughout my hair. Now, I usually have this done twice a year, one in the summer and then one coming up towards the Christmas period, but this time I found that, and this is actually the, the this time and the last time I had my hair uh, highlighted with the bleach put through it, I think naturally when you have got such naturally dark hair, or if you're changing your hair from colour to dark, to bleached or lightened, whether you're a man or a woman, there is going to be a change of texture, there's going to be a change of condition in your hair. Blonde, I believe, ultimately is a really, really premium, high-end colour, and certainly a high-end service, which requires a lot of looking after, a lot of nourishment. Ultimately, the thing which you need in your hair is moisture. And if you don't have the right levels of moisture, then of course your hair is going to be quite dull, it's going to be quite dry, and even worse, it's going to be really quite let's be honest, frazzled, dry, damaged, and it's going to start to break. This is the bonding oil. So if you think bonding oil, okay, hair is made up of bonds. So it's about protein, keratin bonds, and for that to be soft, sleek, really nice, healthy hair, it has to be perfectly aligned, smooth, the cuticle of the hair has to be smoothed down. If it's not, or if you've had bleach put through your hair, if it's dry and it's frizzy, that means that things aren't quite right in the actual, uh, in the length of the hair, in the cuticle of the hair, and rather than everything laid down flat, those bonds, or the actual cuticle outside, if it's not laid down flat and it's all up, and if you can imagine, then it's quite, it's not, you're not going to feel this, I'm all about if you were looking at, and just sort of like a microscope, rather than it being a polished sort of cuticle of hair, imagine just rough edges, imagine like that it's not completely smooth, or it's not completely straight from from uh, root to tip. Now that can happen, it can get rough, it can get quite broken down, it can get quite sort of uneven, so you've got those bonds which aren't completely in line when hair is dry, when hair has had a chemical process put on it, when it's had a colour put on it, or perhaps you've overly coloured your hair, or perhaps you've used too much heat on your hair, or perhaps you just haven't had a haircut for a super long time. This stuff here, using a very small amount, you don't have to use loads of this, I have used this on and off since December. Now, I have only used a very small amount, as you can see, because this stuff, theoretically, would probably last you a very, very long time because a little goes a very, very long way. So for me, it was filled right up to the top. And as you can see, I am, what, about a centimetre and a half down because I've got it on an angle. So it's about a centimetre and a half of the Olaplex bonding oil I've used. Now, every now and again, I may use it once, twice a week. Sometimes I may use it a little bit more than that. Sometimes I may use it a little bit less than that. What I like about the Olaplex bonding oil is that it gives a really nice polished effect to the hair. It really does put that nourishment back into the hair. It makes 
blow drying the hair much more easier. It makes the hair sit more uniformed. And when you're using heat throughout your hair, you know it's protected. Now, I believe with the, um, the bonding oil, I believe there is a heat protection on here. But since I've actually bought the, the item and it came as a, uh, a gift set, I don't actually have the temperature. But I would imagine it would be up to the 230 mark, of which is protected uh, by heat. So 230 degrees, I would imagine. Please don't quote me on that. I'm sure there will be somebody out there who will know, who will know the exact uh, sort of number which hair is protected up to that. But I know it can be used as a heat protectant. So forgive me, I haven't got the correct answer on that. Um, I've searched high and low for the packaging and I haven't actually come up come. Um, found the answer on that one. But I do know from when I first read it and I um, purchased the product um, that it does have a heat protectant in there. It really does put moisture back into the hair and it really makes the hair feel that more revitalized, that refreshed feel, much more like almost like new hair. My only slight issue with the Olaplex bonding oil is when you don't use the Olaplex shampoo and the conditioner or the Perfecta, it doesn't kind of hold the nourishment in the hair. It's almost like you're starting again, which if you've got plenty of the oil, that's fine. But for example, for me, if I use quite a bit of the oil um, and then I put that through damp hair and then I dry my hair, it's got really great, great nourishment in my hair. It makes my hair feel much more uh, healthy, revitalized. Now that's not so much of an issue now, but when I first had it bleached and it's grown out, as you can probably imagine, you can see how dark my root line is to here. I don't get that anymore because, of course, after time, the hair builds itself back up with the conditioning products you use, with using moisture uh, throughout the hair, when you're using products such as the Olaplex bonding oil. It really does, in the end, bring the hair back. And this certainly does um, do, its, do its best at putting the hair back to how it should be. So if you're sat there and your hair's absolutely obliterated, whether you're a man or a woman sat there, whether you've got short hair or long hair, and your hair, to be quite honest with you, is starting to look like a hay bale or straw, or it's just taking taking the appearance that it's completely washed out, it's completely broken, but yet you still want to hold on to your hair, I absolutely urge you to try the Ola, uh, the Olaplex bonding oil, because this stuff, when I first had it, what happened to me when I had it uh, bleached this time, was it started to go puffy. That's why I noticed that the actual hair, which had had the bleach on it, is almost gone completely a different texture, like coarse. I wondered actually if it had been left on a little bit too long, but but it was strange because I paid for the Olaplex uh, system um, whilst I was having it done, and I came up with absolutely amazing soft, sleek hair. Second, third day, wasn't as soft. Then when we got about a week on, it was almost like rope. Um, and I really didn't like the texture at all. In fact, I regretted doing it. But what I'd done at the same time when I had my hair uh, cut and I had the bleach put through my hair, was I, uh, Christmas time, I thought, let's sort of push the boat out a little bit. And I treated myself to the uh, the Olaplex gift set, which was the shampoo, the conditioner, the perfecter, and the bonding oil. Um, I should have kept the packaging, which I'm really, really annoyed at myself. But of course, at Christmas time, one thing or another, um, I just complete, I just threw it out, which I'm a little bit annoyed at. But um, of course, Olaplex, huge top end system. Today, we're just using the bonding oil and I've broken them down because I've got a bit of a difference of view with them. That is not to say it's negative, bearing in mind, it is just my individual hair type. Everybody's hair is different. So don't base what somebody else's experiences on your own, because this is just as a general idea. I have a huge passion of reviewing products, and I have a huge passion for styling hair, and sort of tricks and tips and things, especially for fine hair and growing the thickest, fullest, healthiest, sleekest, softest head of hair as well, whether you're a man or a woman. So again, Olaplex bonding oil, really amazing product, really nice smell. It, it, it's, it's a product which, of course, it is a bit of an investment. It's only a small amount here, but it's a product which you can just use one, two sort of drops. And it's that kind of drop it on the, is that kind of word what you would use? Um, how it comes out of the bottle, you almost don't have to just tip it and it runs out. You just sort of tap it. And then I always just do sort of two taps into my hands. And then it's like two droplets. I run that through my hands. And then for my damp hair, I concentrate on the links and the ends. If I need a bit more, then I just do one more tap of the product as well. And that then I use a blow dryer or often I've just left it throughout my hair, combed it back, 
use the band like what I've got here in this top knot style. And you know what? Then when I take it out of an evening, it's the softest, the sleekest my hair ever feels. It's really, really nice. Now, let's turn this around a little bit. Do I think the product's worth it? Oplex, of course, is in a league of its own. It's a completely different system. I will be honest to you, I have used oils and conditioning sprays, which have been far cheaper. And if you imagine that Olaplex is this end, that end of the much more cheaper sort of spectrum, high street sort of product. I'll be honest with you, I have had equally the same effect. I'll be honest, sometimes even a little bit more nourishment. So yes, Olaplex makes my hair feel amazing, but I have used products which have been a fraction of the cost, which have made my hair feel even more healthier because, here, here's where it gets interesting, because I find with the Olaplex bonding oil, if I've used this today, okay, and then I wash my hair in the morning without the Olaplex system, it's almost like that I haven't used this. Whereas if I use a product which is cheaper or a conditioning spray, not just because it's cheaper or a completely different brand, and then I shampoo my hair the next day, I'm still feeling the nourishment, which I find strange because of course this is a superior product. But then if I don't use the shampoo and the conditioner, it's almost like that you have to use the Olaplex shampoo conditioner perfecter bonding oil for it to sort of all bond together, pardon the pun there, to all bond together so you get that intense nourishment all the time. Whereas if you break them apart and you use this and use a different shampoo, I find that the effects of this almost washes away. So it's a little bit strange. So I feel for you to get that nourishment, that repair, you have to use this all the time with the shampoo, with the conditioner. Possibly that's how Olaplex have maybe designed the range, I don't know. I'm talking to you about the product just because I've reviewed it, and as with anything on my channel which I have a passion for, if I love the product then I'm going to shout about it, if I find the product a little bit, mm, then I'll tell you about it as well, because my channel is all about honesty, integrity. So yes, I would buy the bonding oil again, but when I think for £26, I could buy a really high quality uh, shampoo, conditioner, and a treatment spray as well. So it is kind of it is kind of thinking what's best for you for your budget. It's pointless me sitting here saying it's the best product in the world. It is good, but I'll be quite honest with you, with the amount you pay, there are products which are far cheaper, which are equal. The bonding oil, I'm not going to compare with the shampoo and the conditioner because I have a slightly different view on that. So we're going to leave that for another day. But the bonding oil is really, really great. It's something I'd recommend if you're going to kind of treat yourself, if you're a lady sat there and you've got that amazing, glamorous, flowing blonde hair, then this is going to be an absolute great styling product for you. And it's going to pump that nourishment back into your hair. If you're a man, on the other hand, and you're watching this, yeah, OK, you may just have platinum. You might have completely platinum hair at the moment, or you may have just a few highlights. A few drops of this is going to absolutely transform the hair quality. But then in terms of price, the same amount of price, you could get yourself a few styling products, a, a really good shampoo and conditioner, and probably still have money left over as well. Talking from the average person who doesn't really want to spend the earth on hair care, but still wants to look good, still wants to look after their scalp, still wants to look after their hair. It can be done. And what I always think that just because sometimes you may pay the smallest amount for a product, do not cancel it out because it can still do an amazing, amazing effect on your hair. But then again, if you have got the money to treat yourself with a product like this, give it a try because it is slightly different. It is a product which really, really works on its own. But of course, as I've said, it works best with its shampoo and its conditioner. Whether or not that's almost like a bond sort of it creates between its products in your hair, I don't know. But it does work really, really well. It's also great for if you're on a day where, for example, the weather's um, not that great or you've got humidity or you're in a room with lots of uh, central heating and you get lots of those single hairs, just a small amount of this throughout your hands, one sort of drop of this, smoothed on the outside of your hair, absolutely incredible, really, really nice. Um, again, as a heat protectant, works amazingly well as well. Um, if you've got damaged hair, concentrate on lengths and ends, it really does transform your hair with using the shampoo and conditioner. If you're just using it on its own, then I do find that it's it's okay, it's not amazing, but it looks after the nourishment, it puts the nourishment back into your hair for that day. And then I do find that you do wash some of it out the next day. So just be a little bit mindful of that, that it is a product. I think if you're just going to buy it on its own, if you want the full effect, you do need to use the full range. Whereas for this, for me, yes, I would buy it again. But as I say, it's that kind of, I'm a little bit hung up on the cost. Um, and in terms of sort of, 
use a different shampoo, then you're kind of washing the nourishment out. But that's not to say that Olaplex isn't a great product, because it certainly is. And I am very impressed with this oil. It's a really, really great oil, and it just puts the hair back together, hence the name Bonding Oil. And then use a blow dryer over the top of it and style your hair. For that day, or when you're using it in the Olaplex system, your hair is absolutely incredible. With the oil, this is bearing in mind. We're not looking at the shampoo and conditioner. We're just looking at the oil. So, yeah, absolutely. Great product. I'd certainly recommend it. Need to know more? Ask me a few questions and I'll get back to you. Leave them down below and I'll do my utmost to get back to you as soon as I can. And stay tuned for the shampoo and conditioner and the perfecter, which will be coming soon. Okay, thanks very much for watching. And until next time, take great care. And I'll be seeing you then. Bye now.